I am pretty sure we all would have faced this. We will be writing so much elaborate notes. We would have highlighted every single text of our book. We have put so much hard work but we don't get the results. Then what's even the point of putting a hard work? It's because if you don't channel your hard work in the right way, then obviously it's all useless. In the previous video, we have talked about space repetition. The link will be somewhere here. If you haven't checked it out already, then please go check it out and then come to this video. I am Rohit Pivya and in this video, we'll be seeing the best study technique that is active recall. I just want everyone to use this active recall because if there is a better way to live life, why not? So what is active recall? Simple. As the name suggests, active recall. So you are actively recalling. That is, you are actively retrieving information from your brain. So what, what will happen if we actively recollect something from our brain? Just like I have talked in my previous video, I told you guys that you have to let your brain know that this information is indeed important. So how do you do that? It is by active recall. I have been going to some memory masters and various uh, winners of such memory uh, competitions and I came to realize that almost everyone uses active recall and space repetition. So why shouldn't we also apply the same technique to our life? So how do we have a very strong memory? It is by the LRA framework. The L stands for learning. Now think of the greatest people in this world. What do we see in them? For example, take Bill Gates, take Thomas Alva Edison, take Elon Musk. So what's similar in these people? The similarity is that they are constantly taking in more and more information daily and also they are constantly applying that information daily. So that is the reason for their success. So why shouldn't we also do the same? Just like I told in my previous video, we all have felt this. Like if we have a good concept of something, then we will be retaining that information more better. The same works here also. So if you fulfill the L in this LRA framework, it's going to do wonders. You have to give a really strong input. Like make sure you understand the concepts fully, make flow charts, make diagrams of whatever you study and have a strong input. But most of us stop with this input. So what more should we do? We should focus now on the output. That's where active recall comes. The R and I in this LRA framework stands for reflect and implement. As the name reflect suggests, after you study something, just pause for a moment and ask yourself, okay, so what exactly did I study from this topic? What did I actually get from this topic? What is the information? What is the purpose of this reflection? By reflecting, you are creating more stronger neural links in your brain. And coming to the last point, the implementing. So how do we implement? Simple, by doing MCQs, by various practice tests and by attending all those exams that they give in our college or school. So only if you implement and reflect everything, you will be able to store the information for a long time in your brain. This LRA framework is learn, reflect, implement, where the L is under input and the R and I is under output. There is one memory champion's quote that I want to share here now. His quote goes something like this. For true mastery, you have to focus more on the output rather than on the input. And he further adds on that, our brain works on this concept. Use it or lose it. If you don't use information for long time, then it will be fading away. So that's where active recall comes in handy. Having the input is pretty straightforward. You simply have to sit in the desk, study, make concepts, make flowcharts and get them inside your head. But then the output is where things get a little bit tricky. He further adds on that the output should be twice the input. That is you have to work more on the output rather than the input. And there are some simple ways by which we can also do this active recall. I'm not sure if I have convinced you enough to use active recall but trust me it is a lifesaver. So let us see the various steps by which we can use this active recall in our day to day life. Point number one, testing yourself on the material. You can test yourself using various question banks or you can test yourself by simply studying a topic then closing the book then recollecting what all you studied till now and then again opening the book and checking out your errors and correcting yourself. This is also a way of active recall. Point number two, write down questions on your own and then test yourself after learning. If you struggle a lot, then you immediately know that okay, so my memory in this part is not really good. So let me go and revise immediately. So by this, you are filling all the memory gaps properly. Before you are going to check some answer, try to understand what's the mistake and try to fill the memory gap. That is, what is the reason you went wrong in this question? You have to understand why, why you made this error and analyze the situation properly. And also there is this one thing, for example, if you are going through this book, try to skim through the topics and know what's coming in the future. So by this, you will be having a basic framework at the start itself and over this you can build all your concepts. Let me summarize this long video. Point number one, 
the various traditional methods of note taking are useless highlighting re reading note taking everything is useless point number 2 active recall is everything point number 3 use the lra framework learn reflect and implement point number 4 when you are seeing an educational video try to actively recollect what the faculty is saying so that it actually enters your brain so these are some of the techniques that i have been using for quite some time i just wanted to share this information with everyone so this is how the various memory masters remain memory master and we can certainly use their techniques and use that for our academics and improve our knowledge if you haven't seen my previous video on space repetition do check it out and as always thank you for watching see you soon